Hello everyone, myself Vinay Kumar M. So I am pursuing PhD in Physics. So welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular YouTube channel, I will be teaching Physics, Chemistry and Mathematics. So if you want to learn Physics, Chemistry and Mathematics starting from 8th standard till 12th standard, then please do subscribe to my channel. So in my previous video, I was actually teaching the second chapter of 8th standard Mathematics. So in this particular YouTube video, I will be teaching the third chapter of 8th standard Mathematics that is Quadrilaterals. So this is actually part one video of this particular quadrilaterals chapter. So please do refer my next parts as well on quadrilaterals. So before moving to quadrilaterals, let us understand what are polygons. Polygons are those diagrams which contains only line segments. So you should remember polygon always contains line segments and polygons are closed. Like all line segments should be closed each other. So such kind of closed curve which has only line segments in it. So such kind of diagrams are actually known as polygons. We have different kind of polygons. So the first polygon which we can make is a triangle because you require at least three line segments to close a surface and make a closed surface. Because if you have two lines, you cannot actually close this particular uh, two lines. You cannot make a closed curve. But if you have the third line, then you can easily close this particular two lines. So this is a closed surface which has only line segments in it. So this kind of polygon which has three line segments which are forming a simple closed curve, then that kind of polygon is actually known as triangle. Similarly, any kind of polygon which has four line segments closing each other, uh, which is forming a cl closed surface, then such kind of polygons are known as quadrilaterals. So in quadrilaterals, we have so many other different kinds as well. So in this chapter, we'll be learning different forms of quadrilaterals. So this is uh, actually one form of quadrilateral. So even this can be a quadrilateral, even this can be a quadrilateral. So there are so many divisions which are there in this particular quadrilateral where four line segments will actually form a simple closed curve. So if five line segments are making a simple closed curve, then that kind of uh, simple closed curve will be known as pentagon. So I will just draw an image of pentagon. So this can be one particular pentagon. You can see there are five line segments. One, two, three, four, five. So these are known as lines, like line segments are there. Similarly, if we have six line segments in a closed surface, like closed curve, then such kind of polygons are known as hexagon. So here you can see one, two, three, four, five, six line segments are forming a closed curve. So this is actually hexagon. If seven line segments are forming a closed curve, then it will be known as heptagon. If eight line segments are there, to form a closed uh, closed curve, then it is actually known as octagon, then it is known as nanogon, then it is known as decagon, and it goes on like this. If three or more than three line segments are actually forming a simple closed curve, then all those particular uh, closed curves are known as polygons. So you should always remember polygon is a simple closed curve which has just line segments in it forming a closed curve. So if I take a circle then you cannot say this as a polygon. You can say this particular curve is actually a simple closed curve. But here you can see there are no line segments present. Even if one line segment is present and if it is forming a closed surface like this, this is also not a polygon. So closed curve should form only using line segments, not a curved surface. So always in polygon, only line segments will be used to close that particular diagram. Hence, you should always remember only line segments can form polygons. So those line segments should actually form a closed curve. Then only such kind of diagrams are known as polygons. So in these polygons, you have two types of polygons. One is concave polygons and the other is convex polygons. So here, let us see what is the difference between concave and convex polygons. So if I have a polygon, let's say like this, it is also a pentagon because it has uh, five line segments. One, two, three, four, five. Five line segments are there. This is also a pentagon which has five line segments to it. So let's say this is also one pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. So here also five line segments are there. 
here also five line segments are there both are pentagons but this is actually known as concave polygon and this is actually known as convex polygon why because the point where two line segments meet if it is there it to the interior of that particular polygon then that particular polygon is actually a concave polygon even if one intersecting point of two line segments is interior to that particular polygon then that is concave polygon you can see here these four points one two three four so these four points are uh, exterior to the polygon but still one point is interior to this polygon so even if one point uh, even if one point where two line segments are meeting is interior to that particular polygon then that polygons are known as concave polygons so if all the points are exterior to that particular polygons like there is no interior point here you can see the polygon contains all its points exterior to it are in exterior position then that kind of polygons are known as convex polygons whether it might be an hexagon or heptagon or octagon or it might be a, a quadrilateral or any kind of polygon you can take if one particular point is there interior to that particular polygon then that polygon will be concave if no points are interior to that particular polygon then that kind of polygons are actually known as convex polygons so one particular division is irregular polygon and the other division in this particular polygon is regular polygon so there are two types again like this is another part of division which happens in this particular polygons so one will be regular and one will be irregular polygons so any polygons which has all its line segments equal to each other and all its interior angles are equal then that means that particular polygon is actually a regular polygon if it is not so then it is known as irregular polygon so let's say there is a triangle like this so here this line segment you can see it is a little bit shorter than this particular line segments let's say this line and this line are equal but this line is not equal to these two lines that means here all line segments are not equal to each other and even angle you can see here it is 90 degree here it is some um, let's say like 45 degree or 45 degree so here also you can see angles are not equal so that means these are known as interior angles so if you consider any closed surface like this any polygon like this so let's say if it is a pentagon like this then all these angles which have been made between these two line segments is known as interior angles so if a pentagon is there then it will be having five interior angles and if you extend one line segment like this then this particular line segment the extension of this particular line segment it makes a certain angle with its adjacent line segment so that particular angle is actually known as exterior angle for this particular point similarly if you extend this particular line then the extension of this particular line to its adjacent line segment the angle what is created here is actually the exterior angle for this particular point so this will become an interior uh, angle and this will become an exterior angle for this particular point like this you can find uh, five exterior angles and five interior angles for a pentagon similarly for different polygons you will be having different exterior angles and different interior angles so now for a polygon to become a regular polygon all the angles like all the interior angles should be same and all the line segments should be same so for example if i am taking an equilateral triangle then that particular equilateral triangle has same length like this particular uh, line segment this particular line segment this particular line segments will be having same length and the angle which is there the interior angles which is there inside this particular triangle will also be equal so this will also be 60 degree this will also be 60 degree so this will also be 60 degree so all interior angles are equal and all line segments are equal so these kind of polygons are known as regular polygons even a square can be a regular polygon because in square all sides will be equal and all angles will be equal to 90 degree so here also you can see all interior angles are equal and all line segments are equal so square can also become a regular polygon similarly there can be a regular pentagon there can be a regular hexagon 
so whatever polygon it might be all its line segments should be equal and all its interior angles should be equal then only such kind of polygons can be known as regular polygon if even one line segment is not equal or even if one angle is not equal then that is not a regular polygon it will become an irregular polygon so after learning so many things about polygons let us solve exercise 3.1 which is there in this particular chapter so coming to the exercise 3.1 so coming to the first question in this particular exercise so you have eight different kind of figures which is given in this particular first problem so and they have given five different option one is simple curve simple closed curve polygon convex polygon and concave polygon so which will best suit for these particular figures so you should actually go on naming that so coming to the first question in this particular uh, first uh, question in this exercise 3.1 you have this particular image so here you can see this is actually a closed surface like closed curve so this can be a simple closed curve so this can also be a simple curve this can also be a simple closed curve as well because it has like a normal line segments present here so it can be a simple curve and it is actually closed with each other so it can also be a simple closed curve so simple closed curve so here option for simple curve is a and option for simple closed curve is named as b and since only line segments are there in this particular figure and there is also closed uh, closed curve is present so this can be a polygon as well so c is also correct for this particular image it is also a polygon so coming to the d option it is actually given as convex polygon but d option will not fit here because one particular angle of this particular polygon is interior to that polygon so this particular polygon is actually concave polygon so option d will not suit for this option e will be suited for this so here option e is concave polygon so here you can see like four options are correct for this particular first image because uh, this particular first image is a simple curve that is a is correct simple closed curve that is b is also correct and it is also a polygon c is also correct and it is a concave polygon so e is also correct d will not apply for this so coming to this second uh, image or the second figure which they have given so this is actually first question this is second question in this particular first question so in this second question they have given this particular figure here also you can see only line segments are formed to form a simple closed curve so here also it is a simple curve it is also a simple closed curve and it is also a polygon and it is also a convex polygon here it was concave but here it will be d because uh, here it is actually all points like all meeting points of this particular line segment is exterior to this particular polygon no one so no single point uh, of intersection of two line segments are interior to this particular polygon hence this is not a concave polygon it is a convex polygon so only d will be there e will not be there here so a is also correct b is also correct c is also correct d is also correct for for this particular second question so coming to the third question in this particular first question you can see there are two circles which are actually imposed on each other so here this is not a simple curve because there are two figures which are there so this cannot be a simple curve this cannot be a simple closed curve this cannot be a polygon because there are no line segments in it this cannot be a convex or concave polygon because it is not at all a polygon in the first place so none of the option will be applied for this particular third question coming to the fourth one in this particular uh, first question they have actually given a star like this here there are line segments are there but all these particular line segments are overwritten on each other so here you cannot say this as one particular polygon because here you can see there are so many interconnections of different line segments but in a polygon there should be connection between only two adjacent line segments so if a line segments are meeting only it should meet with its adjacent line segments it should not meet with the other line segments like this so at that particular point this will not become a polygon so here also this is not a polygon this cannot be a simple curve or simple closed curve and this cannot be a 
convex polygon or concave polygon as well because it is not a polygon at all even fourth one none of the option will be correct for this particular fourth one as well so coming to the fifth one so fifth one you have a closed curve like you have one single figure here so this is actually a simple curve so option a will be correct this will also be a simple closed curve because it is actually closed but it cannot be a polygon because there is no line segments present here and this cannot be a convex polygon or concave polygon so only a and b will be applied for this fifth one coming to sixth one so you have this particular image so there are two line segments present but on the top there is like curved surface present so here also line segments are there but curved surface is also there so this cannot be a polygon this cannot be a convex or concave polygon but this can be a simple curve because it is only one single figure and this can also be a simple closed curve since it is actually closed so coming to the seventh question in this particular first question so in seventh question also you have line segments like this but you have a curved surface which is actually closing these two line segments so here also this cannot be a polygon but this can be a simple curve and this can also be a simple closed curve but it cannot be uh, the polygon or it cannot be convex or concave polygon coming to the eighth one so you have multiple figures like you have two circles and one line segment so this is actually you cannot consider this as a closed uh, closed curve and you cannot consider this as a simple curve as well so that's why none of the option will be applied for this so it is not a simple curve it is not a simple closed curve it is not a polygon it is not convex or concave polygon so for eighth also none of the option will be applied so coming to the second question they have actually asked what is a regular polygon so as i explained before regular polygon is that polygon where all its line segments are equal and all its interior angles should be equal so all lines should be equal and also all interior angles so you should always remember the word interior angles should be equal of that particular polygon then only that particular regular po that particular polygon will become a regular polygon coming to the second part in this particular second question they have given what is the name of a regular polygon with three sides so this is first question in this particular second question so regular polygon with three sides is known as equilateral triangle so a regular sided uh, so a regular polygon with three sides is actually known as equilateral triangle similarly a regular polygon with four sides so a regular polygon with four sides is actually known as square because in square it has four four line segments at the same time it has equal line segments and equal interior angles coming to the third question in this particular second question they have given six sides so what a uh, uh, so a regular polygon with six sides is actually known as regular hexagon because six sided polygon is known as hexagon and here they have asked regular polygon hence it will be a regular hexagon which has all its six uh, line segments equal and six interior angles equal now let us discuss the new concept in this particular quadrilateral chapter where sum of all exterior angles so for any polygons if you consider the sum of all exterior angles then it will always be equal to 360 degree so if you actually add all exterior angles of a polygon of any polygon it will always be equal to 360 degree so this is one particular property you should always remember so for example if i take a triangle like this so if i extend this particular line segment and this particular line segment and this particular line segment like this so this will be the exterior angles for this particular point so the angle which is created by this extended part of a line segment with its adjacent side so here you can see the extended part of this particular line segment is this and there is an angle between this extended part and its adjacent side so adjacent side of this particular line is this one so this is actually the interior angle of this particular point so if you name this as a b and c then at point b this will be the interior angle and at point uh, b this will be the exterior angle so if i give name uh, if i name this point as d then a b d will be the exterior angle and a b c will be the interior angle at this particular point so the exterior angles 
which has been created at all the three points of this particular triangle if you actually add them then it will always be equal to 360 degree so if i name this as e and this as f then eac plus fcb plus dba so you can see like i have summed all exterior angles so that will be always equal to 360 degree so to prove this let us take an example of a triangle so let's say this particular triangle is an equilateral triangle so the equilateral triangle will be having all its angles equal to 60 degree so this is also 60 degree this is also 60 degree and this particular angle is also 60 degree so now let us see if all exterior angles are equal or not so let's extend this particular line segment next we'll extend this particular line segment and we'll extend this particular line segment so here let us name this point as a b and c and this point as d and this point as e and this point as f so now you can see there is a straight line coming from c to d so that means this particular angle and this particular angle should actually sum up to 180 degree that means c b a that is one internal angle interior angle which is there at point b and one exterior angle of this particular point b which is a b d so plus a b d so if you actually add this particular interior angle and its corresponding exterior angle then it should be 180 degree because since c d is actually a straight line so here actually c d is a straight line so since this is straight line then it should be 180 degree so the angle like if you add this particular interior angle and corresponding exterior angle then that should be equal to 180 degree so here you know cba is 60 degree so i'll substitute that 60 degree here and you know abd we don't know what is abd so we are living as as it is so here 180 degree will be there on rhs now you can bring this 60 degree to rhs so abd will be 180 degree minus 60 degree that will be 120 degree so for this particular straight line if you consider be as one particular straight line then this angle and this particular exterior angle will also be equal to the sum of those interior angle and exterior angle will be equal to 180 degree because it is a straight line so if you consider this particular line af then that will also create uh, 180 degree like the sum of interior angle and its corresponding exterior angle that is this particular angle so if you add these two then again this will correspond to 180 degree so this shows similarly similarly if you solve as i solved this particular uh, abd so similarly if you solve that eac will also be 120 degree because its interior angle is 60 degree and correspond the other exterior angle that is fc uh, sorry bcf so bcf will also be 120 degree because its corresponding interior angle is 60 degree so 180 minus 60 will be 120 degree now we have three per three exterior angles one is abd one is eac and another is bcf so now let us add all these particular uh, interior angles uh, sorry exterior angles so it will be abd plus eac plus uh, bcf so if we add all these particular exterior angles we will get 120 degree plus 120 degree plus 120 degree so if you add all this 120 degree you'll get 360 degree so you can see the sum of all exterior angles is giving 360 degree similarly using same method if you solve for a square or a quadrilateral then so if you actually extend this particular line and if you actually extend this particular line and if you actually extend this particular line and if you actually extend this particular line then all these angles will be 90 degree because its interior angle is 90 degree since this these are all straight lines the sum of this particular angle and this particular angle should be 180 degree and this and this should be 180 degree and this and this should be 180 degree and this and this should be 180 degree so all its exterior angle will be 90 degree because all its interior angles are 90 degree so now if you actually add this all exterior angles you will get 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 so 90 
four times you should add because you have four exterior angles which is equal to 90 degree so that will be again 360 degree so if you take any polygons and if you actually extrapolate that particular line segment like all the line segments and if you get exterior angle then if you add all those exterior angles it will always be equal to 360 degree you can even take polygon with 20 sides you can even take polygon with 30 sides 50 sides or 10 sides or 15 sides any sided polygon if you take exterior angle of that particular polygon if you add all those exterior angles of that particular polygon then you will always get 360 degree as your answer so this shows sum of all exterior angles of any polygon will always be equal to 360 degree so now let us discuss what is sum of all interior angles because sum of all exterior angles was 360 degree but sum of all interior angles of any polygon will not be the same for uh, that particular polygon it will always vary based on the sides of that particular polygon sum of all interior angles of a polygon will always be equal to n minus 2 into 180 degree so let's say we have a triangle so here n is actually the side like number of sides so n is actually number of sides of that particular polygon so number of sides of a polygon so this n is actually number of sides you should actually subtract 2 out of it and you should actually multiply that with 180 degree then you will get the sum of that particular polygon so now let us take a simple polygon that is a triangle so here Number of sides which are there in this particular triangle is 3. 1, 2, 3. So, you can substitute that 3 in this particular n. So, it will become 3 minus 2 into 180 degree. So, 3 minus 2 is 1. So, 1 into 180 degree will be equal to 180 degree. So, the sum of all interior angles. So, sum of interior angles. So, I will just write IA. So, sum of interior angles of triangle is always equal to 180 degree similarly you can substitute this particular formula uh, you can use this particular formula to find interior angles of any polygons so let's say we have a quadrilateral uh, like square so if you want to find sum of all interior angles of this particular square then you can just substitute the number of sides in this particular formula so n minus 2 will be inside bracket outside it will be multiplied with 180 degree so according to Bodmas rule you should always solve what is there inside bracket and then only you should multiply with this particular 180 degree which is outside bracket now here for a square for a quadrilateral there will be four sides present so in the uh, place of n you should actually substitute 4 so 4 minus 2 into 180 degree so first you solve this particular uh, uh, thing what is there inside bracket so that will be 2 because 4 minus 2 is 2 into 180 degree so that will be equal to 360 degree so this shows sum of interior angles of a particular square will be equal to 360 degree now if i give a pentagon then pentagon has five sides to it so one two three four five sides so you can substitute uh, in this particular formula as phi like in the place of n you can substitute phi so phi minus 2 into 180 degree so phi minus 2 is actually 3 into 180 degree so 3 into 180 degree will be 540 degree so the sum of interior angles of a pentagon will be 540 degree so if you have a hexagon like this then six sides will be there so in the place of n in the formula you can substitute six so it will be 6 minus 2 into 180 degree so 6 minus 2 is actually 4 so 4 into 180 degree so that will be actually 360 twice so 720 degree similarly you can solve this for heptagon you can solve for octagon even you can solve for 100 sided polygon so if a polygon has 100 sides you just need to subtract 2 out of that particular 100 and you can multiply with 180 degree so it will be 98 into 180 degree so whatever answer you will be getting here will be the sum of interior angle of 100 sided polygon so like this if you have uh, any sides any number of sides for a polygon you should just subtract 2 from that particular uh, number of sides and you should multiply that with 180 degree so that will be the sum of interior angles of a polygon so sum of exterior angle of any polygon will be 360 degree in common but sum of interior angles for individual polygons 
will be different for triangle it will be different for a quadrilateral it will be different for a pentagon it will be different hexagon it will be different and general formula for that is n minus 2 into 180 degree where n is the number of sides of that particular polygon so after learning all these concepts let us actually solve exercise 3.2 which is there in this particular uh, chapter so coming to the a question in this particular first question there is a figure given here there are three exterior angles for this particular polygon. One is 125 degree, the other is 125 degree and the other is X. Now you have to find what is the uh, exterior angle, what is this particular X, the third exterior angle. So you know that all exterior angles, sum of all exterior angles of any polygon will be equal to 360 degree. So according to that particular property, we can actually take as 125 degree plus 125 degree plus x is actually equal to 360 degree. Now you can actually add this 125 and 125. It will be actually uh, 250. So 250 degree plus x is equal to 360 degree. So now you can take this 250 degree to RHS. It will become minus 250 degree. So 360 degree minus 250 degree will be 110 degree. So the answer for this particular x will be 110 degree. So the answer for this a question is 110 degree. So coming to the b question in this particular first question, they have given exterior two exterior angles 70 degree and 60 degree. So there will be five exterior angles for a pentagon. So they have not given this particular angle, but they have given this particular symbol. This shows this is actually equal to 90 degree and they have not given this particular exterior angle but here they have given interior angle which is 90 degree so since this is actually a straight line then the whole angle will be equal to 180 degree so this particular angle will be equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree so that is actually 90 degree so now you have one exterior angle as 90 degree, the other as 90 degree, the other is 60 degree and the other is 70 degree. Now you can easily find the fifth exterior angle that is X. So here 90 degree, 90 degree which are these two exterior angles and we have 60 degree and 70 degree as another 3 and 4 exterior angles. So 60 degree plus 70 degree and the fifth exterior angle we don't know that is X. So sum of all exterior angles of a polygon will always be equal to 360 degree. Now you can actually add these uh, four terms. So 90 plus 90 is 180, 180 plus 60 is actually 240, 240 plus 70 is 310 degree plus X is actually equal to 360 degree. Now you can bring this 310 to the RHS. So it will become minus 310. So X will be equal to 360 degree minus 310 degree. So X is actually equal to 50 degree. So this is the answer for this B question. Coming to the second question, they have actually given nine side, uh, two questions in this particular second question. So one is actually nine sides. The other is actually uh, 15 sides. So there are two uh, different regular polygons which has been given in this particular uh, question. So one is having nine sides, the other is having 15 sides. So here they have actually asked to find the exterior angle of this particular nine sided regular polygon and 15 sided regular polygon. You should always remember for a regular polygon, all line segments will be equal, all interior angles will be equal. When all interior angles are equal, then all exterior angles will be equal, should be equal. So then only that particular regular polygon will be a uh, that particular polygon will be a regular polygon. So now they have only given that this particular 9 sides and 15 sides polygon is actually a regular polygon. So that shows there will be 9 exterior angles which are equal to each other. So that means there are same angles. Let's say X angle like one particular exterior angle is named as X. Then all those exterior angles in that particular 9 sides. Uh, so first I will be solving this first problem. So all exterior angles will be equal to X because all exterior angles are equal. So you should add 9 times. So X should be added 9 times. That will be actually 9X because 9 times if you are adding X, then it will be 9X. So you have been learning tables from your primary class where they will tell 2 into 1 is 2, 2 into 2 is 4, 2 into 3 is uh, 6, 2 into 4 is 8. So if you are learning tables like this, the significance of this particular table is that 2 into 1 means 2 is added one time. That means 2 will remain as 2. So if they are, they are saying 2 into 2 is equal to 4 means 2 is actually added 2 times. So 2 plus 2 that will be 4. 
here if they are saying 2 into 3 is actually 6 that means 2 is added 3 times so that will give you 6 because 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 so if you are saying 2 into 4 is 8 then that shows 2 is added 4 times that is 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 so that will be equal to 4 uh, 8 so 2 into 4 is 8 means you are adding 2 4 times so here also if you are adding x 9 times then it will be 9 into x so that is actually equal to 360 degree so you can easily bring this multiplication like it is actually 9 into x so when you bring this into 9 to the right hand side then it will become divided by 9 so x will be equal to 360 degree divided by 9 so if you actually divide this 360 by 9 then you will get x as uh, 9 ones are 9 fours are 36 0 so 40 degree so the measure of each exterior angle will be 40 degree for a 9 sided regular polygon that means all 9 exterior angles will be equal to 40 degree similarly you can solve for 15 sides as well so 9x is actually equal to uh, 360 degree here i will take y as the side like y as the exterior angle for that particular 15 sided regular polygon so 15y will be equal to 360 degree because you are adding 5, y 15 times because all exterior angles are equal so all exterior angles will be named as y itself so it will be 15 exterior angles which you are adding to get 360 degree so it will be 15 y in 15 y is equal to 360 degree now you can bring this y to rhs it will become 360 degree divided by 15 so here you can actually calculate 15 ones are 15 twos are 30 60 is there fours are 24 uh, fours are 60 so y is actually equal to 24 degree so the exterior angle of this particular 15 sided regular polygon is 24 degree means it has 15 exterior angles which each exterior angle measures 24 degree in this particular 15 sided regular polygon coming to the third question they have actually asked the reverse of the second question here they have actually given the angle like the exterior angle of a regular polygon which is actually equal to 24 degree now you should actually find how many sides are actually there in this particular regular polygon. So the exterior angle, let's say uh, the exterior angle is equal to 24 degree, which they have given in this particular third problem. In previous problem, I have shown number of sides is actually multiplied with this particular exterior angle to get 360 degree because this is actually regular polygon. You can use this kind of uh, formula only for a regular polygon so here also in third problem number of sides let us call it as a so let a be the number of sides so that a is actually multiplied with this particular exterior angle then you will get 360 degree as your answer so here a is number of sides so now you should actually find number of sides so x is actually the exterior angle of that particular regular polygon so this is actually exterior angle of a regular polygon so only if it is a regular polygon you can use this formula or else you cannot use this formula if it is a irregular polygon so now here it is actually regular we can actually use this particular formula so now we should actually find a that is number of sides into x so that is actually the exterior angle that means that many times that particular exterior angle is actually added so a times an exterior angle is added to get 360 degree because sum of all exterior angles will be 360 degree that shows that many times you should add so if 15 sides is there if 10 sides is there in that particular regular polygon you are adding that exterior angle which is same for all 10 uh, so all 10 exterior angles will be same so you should add 10 times that particular exterior angle the same exterior angle to get 360 degree so here also i am multiplying a times an interior uh, sorry an exterior angle because i don't know what is number of sides so x is actually 24 degree so a into 24 degree will be equal to 360 degree so you can actually bring this 24 to rhs it will become a is equal to 360 degree divided by 24 degree so if you actually divide 360 by 24 you will get 15 as your answer so a is actually equal to 15 sides because a is actually number of sides so number of sides of this particular regular polygon is actually 15 sides so 15 is the answer for this particular question now coming to the fourth question it is also similar to third question itself but they have actually given interior angle here 
So the interior angle of a regular polygon is 165 degree. Then all its interior angle will be equal to 165 degree. So when you actually extend a line segment, you will get total angle as 180 degree. That means both interior angle and its corresponding exterior angle, if you add together, it will be 180 degree. So let's suppose say if this particular uh, polygon has this particular point, if you actually extend this particular line, then this will be interior angle and this will be exterior angle. The sum of interior and exterior angle will be 180 degree because this is actually a straight line. So here they have given interior angle. In previous problem directly they had given exterior angle and you easily substituted this formula and you got the answer. Here they have given interior angle. So first you should actually find what is the exterior angle. So here actually I plus E will be equal to 180 degree because uh, interior angle and its corresponding exterior angle will always give 180 degree because it's a straight line. So interior angle is 165 degree. You can actually substitute that here. 165 degree plus E will be equal to 180 degree. So you can bring this 165 to RHS. It will become 180 degree minus 165 degree. So this gives 15 degree as your answer. So you have 15 degree as your exterior angle. So now you don't know how many sides this particular regular polygon has. So we'll keep that as A into interior angle. You should actually multiply means that many times. Sorry, exterior angle. You should actually multiply. That means that many times if you add exterior angle for that many sides, then you will get that particular 360 degree as your answer because some of all exterior angles will be 360 degree. So that shows number of sides multiplied by 15 degree. That means all exterior angle are equal. So that's why I'm actually using this particular formula that will give 360 degree as answer. So you can bring this 15 degree to your RHS, then it will become 360 degree divided by 15 degree. So here you can actually calculate 15 ones are 15 twos are 360. So 24. So 24 sides is your answer for this particular fourth question. So there is 24 side uh, regular polygon which has uh, 60 uh, sorry which has 15 degree as its exterior angle. So all its 24 exterior angles will be equal to 15 degree. So when you add all those 24 uh, exterior angles you'll get 360 degree. So all interior angles of this 24 sided uh, regular polygon has 165 degree as its interior angle. So using all this data, you have find out that this particular regular polygon is having 24 sides. Coming to the fifth question, they are actually asking, can a po regular polygon have exterior angle equal to 22 degree? So let's say if we divide this particular 22 degree with 360 degree, if we are not getting a whole number, then this particular uh, angle cannot be the exterior angle of any regular polygon. Because when you do 360 degree divided by 22 degree, you will actually get answer as 16.3636. So you cannot actually have a line segment which is actually given in decimal points. Because if you draw a, even a smaller line segment, then that accounts for one full line segment. So it cannot be in decimals. It cannot be in fractions. So one small or big line segment you are taking, then it will account for one particular line segment only. It cannot be 0.5 or 0.75 or 0.36 like this. So that shows this particular 22 degree cannot be there for any, cannot act as exterior angle for any kind of regular polygon. So this is not a regular polygon, which has 22 degree as its exterior angle. So now they are asking, can it be an interior angle as well? Because if this particular 22 degree becomes, so there are, there is two problems in this particular fifth question. One is A and B. So coming to the B problem, they are asking interior angle can, if it is 22 degree, then it can become a regular polygon or not. So if interior angle is 22 degree, then I plus E that is interior angle plus exterior angle is actually equal to the, uh, 180 degree. So if interior angle is 22 degree, then exterior angle will be equal to 180 minus 22. So 180 minus 22 will be 158. So now you have 158 as your exterior angle. Now if you actually divide this 158 with uh, 360 degree, so if you do 360 by 158, you will get answer as 360 divided by 158. You will get 2.278 as your answer. So here also you are getting decimal points. That means this particular exterior angle cannot be exist for any kind of regular polygon. That means this particular interior angle also cannot exist for any kind of regular polygon. So this will be an irregular polygon. Even in uh, 
क्वेश्चन ए इट इज एन इरेग्युलर पॉलीगन इट इज नॉट अ रेग्युलर पॉलीगन सो कमिंग टू द ए क्वेश्चन इन सिक्स क्वेश्चन दे हैव एस्ट वॉट इज द मिनिमम इंटीरियर एंगल ऑफ एनी रेग्युलर पॉलीगन सो यू शुड एक्चुअली टेक अ मिनिमम रेग्युलर पॉलीगन विच इज एक्चुअली इक्वल एटर ट्राइंगल बिकॉज इफ यू कंसिडर अ मिनिमम पॉलीगन देन थ्री साइडेड पॉलीगन इज द मिनिमम पॉलीगन एंड इफ थ्री साइड आर इक्वल and if this particular three sided polygon is actually regular polygon then that will be an equilateral triangle because this particular uh, polygon is actually regular polygon and the interior angle of this particular equilateral triangle is equal to 60 degree hence the minimum polygon the minimum regular polygon is actually equilateral triangle and the minimum interior angle is 60 degree so now if you consider a quadrilateral like leg regular quadrilateral like square which has four sides then the interior angle will be 90 degree so if you consider uh, pentagon then the interior angle will like regular pentagon then the interior angle will be much more higher so you should take the minimum uh, regular polygon and the angle of that uh, interior angle of that particular minimum regular polygon so minimum regular polygon is actually equilateral triangle hence the interior angle of that particular Uh, equilateral triangle is 60 degree so the answer for this a question will be 60 degree so coming to the b question what is the maximum exterior angle for a particular regular polygon so we have 60 degree as our answer for a minimum interior angle then the exterior angle will be 120 degree because in this minimum interior angle the exterior angle will be maximum because sum of interior angle and exterior angle will be equal to 180 degree for any particular polygons so if 60 degree is the minimum interior angle then 180 degree minus 60 will be the maximum exterior angle which is possible for any polygon so here triangle with 60 degree like a regular triangle if it has interior angle equal to 60 degree then its exterior angle will be equal to 120 degree so the minimum interior angle is 60 degree and the maximum exterior angle is 120 degree for this particular sixth question so this is all there in this particular video so this is actually part 1 video of this particular quadrilateral chapter so similarly there are other parts for this quadrilateral like the next the continuation of this particular chapter will be in next subsequent parts of this particular quadrilateral chapter you can watch this part 1 video and you can also watch the next parts of this particular quadrilateral chapter so that you will get more idea about quadrilaterals so like this i'll be uploading more and more physics chemistry and mathematics uh, chapters explanation in this particular youtube channel so if you want to learn physics chemistry and mathematics starting from 8th standard to 12th standard then please do subscribe to my channel and thank you